Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, philphonecage.com. And we have four different phones over here, and some of them are S8s, and some of them are S9s. Well, there are some pluses. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that you can't distinguish them by the angles here, but would you be able to distinguish them if I had it like that? I guess not, because they're really similar, and we brought all the units to tell you the new things and the differences that the S9 brings over the older S8. For your information, what you see on the left-hand side is the S8 Plus, and on the right side is the new S9. Uh, they are almost identical in the front facade. The biggest difference you can notice here, perhaps, is the iris scanner. The iris scanner used to be very apparent on the S8 Plus, now they hid it. Uh, it's kind of painted in black, so you can't really find it on the top corner. There are some more differences on the back. For the fingerprint reader, you have one right next to the camera on the S8 Plus. On the S9, it's now below the camera. And talking about the camera, now there are two of them. One on top is now dual aperture, f1.5 and f2.4, depending on the lighting conditions. And one under that is f2.4 telephoto lens, so you can zoom in when you're taking a photo, just like you could have with the Galaxy Note 8. The same goes with the smaller variants. You can see the new fingerprint reader position and the new camera. It used to be f1.7 and now this is f1.5 and f2.4 dual aperture. And by the way, the heart rate monitor now can also measure blood pressure. Turning on the screen doesn't reveal much of the new features either, uh, especially if you have updated your S8 to Android Oreo. The screen sizes are identical and the physical dimensions are also very, very similar, although the newer models are slightly heavier. And since we're talking about the camera, let's try launching it. The viewfinder looks exactly the same. You can just take photo, but there is 2x button. You can zoom in and also the new mode called super slow-mo. So this can shoot full HD video up to 960 frames per second. And it also does that automatically. So you can start shooting and at the right moment, something happens, it's going to capture that in slow-mo. And for the normal video, thanks to the new compression technology, you can shoot videos in up to UHD 60 frames per second. And of course, there's a new AR emoji. You might have seen that from the iPhone 10. You can change between the characters or create your own that looks just like yourself. I'm not really sure if that's a good thing. The basic specs has been boosted as well from Snapdragon 835 or Exynos 8895. Now they got Snapdragon 845 or Exynos 9810. And the bigger one has 6 gigabytes of RAM, while the smaller one remains with 4 gigabytes of RAM. But considering that even Galaxy 8 Plus 2018 has 6 gigabytes of RAM, that's a bit of a questionable choice right there. And for the storage options, you can go all the way up to 256 gigabytes, although it does have the microSD card slot, so you can just get a smaller one and install up to 400 gigabytes of microSD card right there. Unfortunately, the battery capacity stays the same, 3000 for the smaller one and 3500 for the larger one. And there's faster LTE connection, intelligence scan that switches between the iris scanner and face recognition depending on the lighting condition. But perhaps the biggest feature I figured is the stereo speakers. Now your earpiece also works as a speaker. So one on top and one on bottom. These are tuned by AKG and they sound really good. Compared to the older Galaxy S8, this is definitely a big leapfrog. And there's also Dolby Atmos included so you can Turn that on to have more spacious uh, surround sound effect. Uh, other than that, the things are very similar to the older generation. I'm not really sure if these new features are going to worth the upgrade. Maybe for some, maybe not for the others. Uh, they say it's a camera reimagined. We'll have to see if that's true with that dual aperture, how good that is in low lighting conditions, how much better the battery life has gotten. All of those questions I'll try to answer in my review coming very soon. So those were the new features and changes in the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus compared to the older S8 and the S8 Plus. I don't exactly keep a good memory, so I might have missed some. If you know something that I missed or have questions, please leave them down in the comments. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.